All right, it's Kevin. We're going to be doing another video on the power inverter. I bought a Power Max. It's a 35 amp. Uh, actually, it's a 35 amp charger, and then it's a converter, both in one. <clears throat> I bought them off eBay. I think I might have paid right around a hundred bucks for it. Uh, so. We're going to get this mounted inside the camper. I was actually going to build a box on the front and mount it on the front, but guess what? This thing can't get wet, so I think I have a better chance of saving this thing if I put it inside the camper. So, we're going to get started. I'll try to let you know where I picked what up and when, or what I got and where I picked it up and how much I paid for each thing. Uh, this project wasn't a cheap project, but... I, I did it the best that I could, the best quality that I could, just to um, you know, get it set up so I can take it camping. So let's get on this uh, inverter charger. Okay, now with this charger and this inverter inside the camper, you're going to need some type of a fuse box. So I went into uh, Advanced Auto. And I picked me up a little six, it's a panel box, fuse panel box. Um, I think it might have been about 10, 10, maybe 10 something for the little box. And I'm going to be mounting it up here, up in this corner up here. Because we got to have some type of fuses on there, we can't do without fuses. So I just put two screws in there, it's not going to take much, I got one here and one here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick them up there on the wall and I'm just going to tap on each one of them so it makes a mark where I want to put them. Where I want to put the box. I'll just set it up here. I'm going to leave enough room on the top of there because I have a big heavy wire that needs to come down through there. So I'm just going to tap on that. Tap on that and pull it back down. So both of my marks are made now. What I'll do is I'll take a very small drill bit we don't want it to be any bigger <coughs> than what our screws are. We want it to be actually a lot smaller. And we'll drill a couple. We're not going to go through because don't forget we only got three quarter inch walls in the runaway camper. So what I'll do is I'll start a couple uh, screws in here. I'll do drill a couple holes here. Each one of these. I won't go all the way through. start both of these so when I put it back up there won't have no problem I should have tightened it a little more but that's okay okay now we should be able to just screw oh, screw down right here should be able to just screw these right back in the holes that we started Go find them. One thing about these campers, man, they're tight, but you gotta love them. We'll get our next one started in the hole before we get the other one tightened. We want our fuse box nice and snug in there. We don't want it to come out fall down okay we got a nice little fuse box in there now so we're gonna work on these three wires these are the three we're gonna be using right now we have three hot wires over here they go up to our light we have one for our light and our fan we have one for our TV and then we have one for these USB ports over here and our 12 volt uh, outlet right here so we only have three wires in this camper that's actually hot if we want to add one later on to maybe a porch light or a light outside or something we'll have three more fuses we could use in this box so right now we're going to get these wires snipped off and get the connectors on them and get them wired in this side over here now you can see we put these three wires in these are our three hot wires these are running the TV, the 12 volt outlet, and the fan on the ceiling. Now we have three more over here that we can use later 
if we like I said if we want to put an outside light on or something outside we could use those three there but for right now this is all we needed now I run a 20 amp in each one of these now we have a ground wire here which needs to be hooked to the inverter and then our hot wire is going to go on here which is going to hook to our inverter then we're going to have two wires coming out of the inverter going down the wall through the floor and out to the battery the next step is mounting our charger in here. We're going to mount that charger in here. We're going to get it up close as we can to that fuse box. We're going to get it so it's tight in there because you never know we might still want to put that air conditioner in there. So we want to have room over here for the air conditioner. We want to be able to get to our plug-ins on this side and uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to get this marked out where we want this to sit and we're going to get our holes drilled and Get this box in next okay now we tried to clean this up a little bit we put some of that uh, cover wire cover on there and put some zip ties in here you know what I mean that just keeps it nice and tidy and now these are our two that's our green our hot and then our red wire which is well our hot one's the red one I'm sorry and the green one is going to be our ground and that's going to come over and it's going to hook down into the top of the converter uh, we're going to hook it right where the wires will come out to go into the battery outside. Then we'll run them hot wires, the big hot wires, up and around, down, and they will go through the floor. I hate to drill another hole in the camper, but you got to do what you got to do to make it work. So I do have to drill one more hole in the camper. Now the two hot wires that I'm going to run out to the battery... <coughs> I didn't know exactly what kind of wire, where to get the wire, and I've looked a lot of places. Well, um, somebody's going to say, well, you should run Advanced Auto or, you know, parts store. They only had, they had a heavier gauge wire that I couldn't get in my uh, uh, charger. <clears throat> they have to be able to fit in the back of the charger. So I picked up a set of booster uh, uh, cables for uh, jump starting a car. And they're 8 gauge, which I think will be fine. All I'm using it as is a charger anyhow. There shouldn't be much of a pull on it. So I do believe that the 8 gauge uh, wire, booster cable wires will be fine. So what I did is I cut the ends off of them. So now I got a red and a black wire. Red and a black one. So we'll do red will be our hot and uh, the black will be our ground. And we'll run them out there and we'll hook them up. So if you're going to run them, I think these are 12 foot long. So I got 12 foot of wire for, I don't know, 9, 10 bucks. I'm not sure what they were. It wasn't very much. So uh, that's the wire I'm going to use to uh, wire up my uh, charger. Now, before we get the wire on the charger set up, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put this in. Now, I got some, these are actually rubber uh, for rebuilding a faucet. I'm sure a lot of the guys should know what I'm talking about. They're the little seal that goes up in your faucet. I have like a million of these things. So it gives me a little rubber. Uh, I don't know how much vibration this thing's going to have or noises. But I thought maybe just this little piece of rubber and smashed. I've got two of them in each one of them. One on the top and one on the bottom of that metal plate. I'm hoping that'll work out pretty good and keep this thing maybe a little quieter inside the runaway camper okay there's the uh, fuse box and the wire is coming out of the, the charger coming up going down and there's where we plugged it in now <coughs> excuse me we used some zip ties on there to tidy everything up real good wanted to make sure everything was zip tied in there good I know it's not a pretty sight but it's gonna give me power now there's the hole I had to drill through the floor right there I wasn't happy about it. I'll throw some silicone on the top and then underneath and I don't think we'll have any problem with it. It's not the prettiest sight. But now if you notice, I haven't hooked it up to the battery yet. It's just sitting out there on the ground and I turned it on and guess what? All lights and everything are working. TV's on. Uh, your USB over there is on. Everything's working. So this thing really shouldn't have any problem running the camper. Tell you what I'll do. I'll turn around here and we'll hit the fan and see if anything. Because we're running. Let's see. No problem. Run the fan. 
the lights on, the TV's got power to it, it's not on. But that is just with the uh, power inverter, the charger power inverter. So we know that it's going to run my camper with no problem. So our next step is we're going to go outside, get these tidied up, uh, you know, a little silicone on these and get the uh, battery terminals hooked up. Okay, what we're going to do now is we got a couple of these battery terminals. You can pick them up at Walmart, Advanced Auto, whatever. I'm not sure. It might have been, I don't know, eight, ten bucks. I'm not sure what they were. Uh, wish I could tell you. I can't. But anyhow, uh, I got a couple of these. We're going to put them on there and we have a uh, little, we'll have a wing nut that goes on here and we'll be putting these on the end of the cable that's coming up here. So that's what we're going to get going now. We're going to get this wire cut off. Snip it off where we want it. Uh, we know that uh, we'll get these snipped and then get our ends put on them. So we're about right in there. That's what we need. We'll save that other piece for another job. So we'll get these stripped down and we'll get our ends put on them and uh, get them hooked up and we'll see how this thing's going to work. All right, we got all of our wires crimped on there. We got this one crimped on, got that one crimped on. I think uh, they're going to be pretty good. All we got to do is throw the cover on this thing. And uh, those wires will go right up in that corner, slot in this box. There's a slot over there too. And I have a little bungee strap that I'll put over top of this so I don't lose my lid off this thing. Just a little uh, cloth bungee strap. I think that will hold it on really nice. So let's go inside and see if it works inside now. Okay. Well, obviously it works. The light's on up there. We got the light on. Turn the fan on. We're not plugged into any electric electricity right now. We have no electricity in there at all, just uh, the uh, battery is running the camper right now. Uh, we'll go back outside here and go back over to this plug-in. Now that's the plug-in that's going inside. We'll plug it in and then our charger should be able to run the rest of it. So. We're going to leave some things run and see how this thing works. We're going to see the, the blower kick on and uh, on the, the charger to see how it works. Well, everything's working great. It seems to be doing just fine. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of uh, the install of the charger inverter. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of help. I, it's not that bad looking. I mean, it's not great, but... Uh, it's better than having it outside somewhere where water could get into it and moisture and that type of stuff. So I think we'll be better off with it inside. We got a few extra fuses we can use for something else, maybe something outside. Uh, I want to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe or leave me thumbs up, thumbs down. If you got a comment, leave me a comment. That'll be fine. Till next time.